tell us about the smart cat flap that you can actually prevent your cat bringing home gifts. Yeah, this is uh, called Flappy. Uh, if you're a cat owner, <laughs> you probably know that one of the problems your cat might wander out into the neighbourhood and bring home a little gift. And by gift, I mean a dead mouse or a bird, which is not the very most pleasant thing to see in your home. But what Flappy does, Flappy uses AI and actually scans your cat's face. And if it sees it has an object in its mouth, it actually doesn't open the door. It locks the door. It's like a bouncer at a nightclub. It won't let them in. Uh, until they drop that object out of their mouth, then the door will open and only for them, a, a special sensor on their collar will open the door just for your cat. So don't expect every cat in the neighbourhood to turn up at your place, but your cat won't be turning up with those unwanted gifts. OK, well, that's perhaps good if we don't want a mouse, you know, entering our house. But um, I'm no expert in this, but um, aren't gifts meant to be a sign of love? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess so, but uh, I think the, the, the cat, uh, you, they think it's obviously they're, they're doing you a favour, they want to impress you, but every cat owner will tell you that uh, that's the last <laughs> thing they want to see at home. Yeah, I uh, have um, received many little, uh, <laughs> only, only one mouse I think, but um, yeah, lots of few little gifts. Yeah. But um, yeah, very interesting indeed. And what about um, dogs, a robot that can play with your dog when you're not home? Yeah, well, we've covered the cat owners, so let's talk, if you've got a dog, one of the things with a dog is they get separation anxiety. Even the owner misses their dog when they leave. So with Oro, this is an automated a robot that can actually interact with your dog and even play with it. There, there's a facility, there's a mechanism that actually throw, it throws a ball so you can play fetch with your dog when you're not home. So if it gets anxious, it gets bored, it gets restless, you're able to interact with the dog. You can even use the onboard cameras and call in and say hi to your, to your dog through the onboard screen. They'll be able to see your face as well. So not only is it curing the dog separation anxiety, the owner can check in on, on their dog as well. <laughs> Any robots to uh, do our cleaning up yet there, Steve? Oh, plenty there. There's robot Great. vacuums, there's robot lawnmowers, <laughs> there's robots that can even make you a cup of coffee. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's all happening here. AI and robots, it's all you need. All right. Are we seeing anything, because we always talk about AI not really showing emotion yet, anything on the cards there? Well, on the contrary, I think AI, like Samsung and LG have these new AI robots that roam around your house. And the LG smart agent, that can actually look at your face and sense your voice and tell what sort of mood you're in. So if it, if it sees that you're maybe a bit depressed or a bit down, it'll play you a, a bit of content or some music that can lighten your mood. So yeah, AI is very much looking to looking out for you. If, there, if there, it does sense that you may be sick or emotional, it's, it's going to do something about it. Very interesting indeed. It'd be fascinating to watch more and more come our way, including what's happening in AI. So when do you come home? Uh, I leave. Today's the last day of the show. I'll be flying home tomorrow. So I'll be back in Australia on Monday and uh, back, uh, back uh, with you again next Saturday from home. All right. Well, safe travels. Always great to see you. Enjoy. Thanks, Janie.